Good morning from Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay, here in Florida. Oh, I've got the t-shirt ready. Here we go, you bought that three years ago. I've got my own Gwazi opening day t-shirt on from back in March. And I'm so excited to be back at one of my favorite parks in Florida. Oh, some fantastic rides here. There really is, and it's gonna be Charlotte's first time getting on the all new Iron Gwazi. Oh, really Spectacular new RMC hybrid coaster. Oh, really looking forward to I it. think you're gonna enjoy it, Charlotte. It's a lovely morning. We've actually come down here from Orlando on the shuttle bus. There's actually put it on by the park for free. It's about a 70 mile journey. However, uh, it takes about an hour and 15 yeah, minutes. it's not too bad, really. Subject to traffic, but it's completely free. You don't have to pay for the bus. Uh, so it's well worth coming down here. A lot of people come to Florida and they miss out on Bush Gardens. Trust me, don't do it. It's an amazing park. Make sure you come down. Here we go. So come and join us as we experience Bush Gardens Tampa Bay. And the great thing is we can take you on the ride here with the chest mounted GoPro. Yay. Let's go and get on some coasters. Well, since I was last here back in March, they're actually working on a new entrance to the park. And look at the new signage at the top just there. That looks so much better than it did before. You've got the animals and the rides up there as well. And yeah, it's set to be completed in summer 2022. I'm sure that's just gone, but still, I'll let them off. It looks good up there. <laughs> Park hours today are 10 a.m. through until 6 p.m. and it's a weekday so it shouldn't be too busy down here at Bush Gardens today. If you are getting the free shuttle bus, it doesn't get here for opening. It gets you here just after. I mean, it's just gone 10.30, but you can't complain. It's completely free, which is really good. Like, it's great how they do put that on and it picks up from quite a few areas down in central Orlando. We got it from SeaWorld this morning, but it also picks up from Icon Park and a few other places as well. We had a lovely morning. There may be a storm coming in about three, four o'clock. So we might get rained off later on. And much like the other parks out here, if there is a storm, then it does mean rides will close. So yeah, we're gonna make the most of it and whiz round and get on as much as we can do today. And yeah, we got Iron Gwazi. Looking forward to that, Charlotte? I'm really looking forward to it. It's a beast, isn't it? It's huge. Yeah, absolutely massive. I mean, you've done quite a few RMCs actually yeah, now. I have actually. And your favourite RMC is Zadra Energy Zadra. Land. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so here we go. Looking forward to this. Good news with this coaster, it's right near the park entrance, so you haven't got to walk far to get to it. Not seen it going round yet, but hopefully it's open. If not, we'll head somewhere else and come back later. Hey, there it is. It's open. It's just got hardly any queue which means it's probably going to be on one train, but you know what? I don't mind. It's open. The blue skies are out for us. And we're going on Iron Gwazi. Now, it's worth pointing out, if you do have a bag, it's a paid locker system here. And uh, yeah, you can hire a locker all day, or you can just pay for the ones individually. I'd recommend just paying for the daily one, and then you can transfer it around the park. If you have just got phones and small items, you can keep them in your pocket, obviously, if it's zipped up or there is smaller storage on the rides for free. Um, but yeah, if you have got a bag, you do need to use the paid locker system, which it is a shame that they charge for it. However, it is what it is. It keeps your stuff secure. And yeah, that's just down here at the entrance to each of the rides. So yeah, really excited to get back on this again. It's Iron Guaze, so we'll switch over to the GoPro and we'll see you up there in the station for this awesome ride. Oh, look at this, it's so quiet here at Bush today. Here's the station, and yeah, I love this. You get the little drop down out of the station. I love the huge lift hill just there. Uh... two trains. Is it on two? Oh, I'm quite surprised. I thought it might have just been on one. Oh yeah, we get it advertised 15 minutes. Yeah, it's probably quite accurate, maybe 10. Let's go and ride. Charlotte's first ever time on Iron Gwazi. Oh, here we go, look at this. What an RMC beauty. What a structure. So right down near the back, but on the one just in front of it, because you can see a bit more from this row. Then you get on 12, here we go. Whoa. Oh, I had time already, range is getting going. How are you feeling? Oh, oh baby, here we go. This is a beast of a ride. It's long, it's fast, action pack layout. I love looking at all of the train chassis on here as well. Climbing up over 
over 200 feet above Tampa, Florida. And we're about to get whipped down this trough. Here we go, Charlotte. This is it. It's Anguazi. <laughs> Oh, here we go! It's so thrilling. Well, that's how it goes. New number one. Is that it? What? Really that even top? Oh my yeah, god. Loved it. There you go. Really the good. one right. You loved it that really much. There you that. go. What a layout. It is so fast. Oh, so good. It is relentless from start to finish that ride. Look at that. What an absolute beauty. A new number one coast of a Charlotte oh, right here. Here that we go. Was absolutely fantastic. Oh, you loved it. From oh. start to finish, loved that so much. <laughs> and the best thing is being down at the back, you're whipped down that drop, oh. and also so much airtime. Oh, absolutely brilliant. I've actually lost for words to be honest. <laughs> the speed of that coaster is so relentless. Fast. I mean, for me, what really makes that coaster stand out is that downwards oh, barrel roll. Just the oh, whole thing. Absolutely start incredible. Loved oh, it. Oh, so glad that you liked it. But there's so many big, massive ejector oh, moments of airtime on that uh, not just little pops massive ejector air time it's brilliant and then the wave turn i really like that as well that's fantastic and it goes on for ages you know when you oh, banked onto the side absolutely there phenomenal. Oh, it's an epic ride it's so good that we can take you on with the chest mount if you do use a gopro yourself you can actually use the wrist straps here as well which, which is, is a good. fun fact uh, i do like that and two training service 15 minute wait Can't oh, about i'm that. so glad that you liked it. it there you go but that's a big moment captured on camera charlotte's <laughs> number, number one coaster Yay. So it puts Zydra into second place, does yeah, it? Yeah, and then Velocicoaster at third. Oh, there you go. Yeah, good. So two of Charlotte's top three are in Florida. Yeah, really good. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's amazing. But uh, tell you what, it was great getting back on that. What a brilliant coaster. Absolutely love it. What a way to start the day. I and Gwazi, a new number one for Charlotte here. Brilliant. Look at how gorgeous it is over there. And the design of the lift hill and the RMC support structure. Fantastic. Honestly, I'm so glad that Charlotte loved it. You got the lovely flamingos down here as well. That's the thing with Bush Gardens. It's not just about the rides and awesome roller coasters. We've got lots of animal experiences here as well. But yeah, honestly, I'm so happy that Charlotte enjoyed that. Oh, so good. <laughs> I knew you'd like it, but I didn't know if it would go straight to the oh, top. Fantastic. You'll have to get a new t-shirt now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is your old one before I know, I was here. Oh, fantastic. Up next then, it's time to ride on Shikra, the parked BNM dive coaster. This is an absolute beast, and it's even got a nice genuine water splash just here as well. There you go. Oh! <laughs> oh, I just avoided it there, Charlotte. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> it was the light breeze. Yeah, the massive water splash just there. Yeah, the entrance just around here on the right. A few empty seats on there, so I don't think it's going to be too busy. Well, there's just a five minute wait for Shikra this morning here at Bush Gardens. Let's go and take a ride on this spectacular dive coaster with this huge inversion. Look at the size of this woman just here. And we're going to dispatch here on Shikara. Such a beast this is. Look at the size of the track. You can't beat a good beastly B&M coaster. Look at this. And up the lift hill we go. Another one that's just over 200 foot.
Here we are there at the top, we get a great view, there's Tampa. You excited Charlotte? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Tiger is just off to the left there. Oh, what a view over the park, Cumber, Falcon's Fury. And we're on the front, so we're gonna get some hang time now. Here we go. Wow, I can sit here all day, it's lovely. Wait for it. Oh, there we go. G-forces there. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Round into the water splash we go! Oh! Woo! Obviously the water splash just looks good from up right. When you're on the front you wouldn't even know you were hitting the water. Fantastic coaster, Shigra. What a dive machine. Shigra is such a beast of a coaster. I absolutely love it. Some sections are so intense on there, but it's such a fantastic ride. I love it. And it's a two drop special as well, <laughs> which is good. Of course, you get the one inversion, and when you come out of that, it is pretty forceful. It is, yeah. I do like the water splash, even though on ride you don't see it. No, you don't. Especially on the front row. <laughs> But I definitely recommend riding on the front for the views and also as well the fact of course it's flawless so it means that yeah you can see right in front of you and the hole at the drop is amazing. It really is. Like yeah. you're holding for a good like <laughs> six or seven seconds. I do miss that on Oblivion at Alton Towers. The original dive machine used to hold you for much longer. It did indeed. Uh, but now I really enjoyed Loved that. It. Fantastic ride on Shikra. B&M Beauty. The first of a few B&Ms they've got here at this park. I tell you what it's great to be back at Bush Garden. Oh, I love this park so much. The coaster selection is amazing. However the water got some water around. Right. And up next, we're going on Stanley River Falls. <laughs> Here we go, Stanley River Falls. Less than a five minute wait for this fantastic, classic plume ride. And here's Charlotte in the back. Out a poncho. Oh no, but you know what? You're not going to need that because you don't get too wet on here. Best not to. What are you thinking of these boats, Charlotte? 10 out of 10, the pad is fantastic. Yeah, like you got this padding so at the front just here, all the way down the back, all down the side here. This ride's actually had a refurbishment recently as well. All the troughs being painted up. I tell you what, SeaWorld Parks and Resorts, the company that own this park, are very good when it comes to painting things up and keeping the parks looking good. Oh, look at that, everything looks so fresh. They've repainted so much here, which is amazing. Now there's Falcon's Fury. Unfortunately, we're not going to be riding that today. It's been closed once again for many months, having some technical issues, which is a shame. Hopefully it'll be back soon. So I do miss Falcons. Oi! It is my second favourite drop tower in the world, actually. And that's the Pantopia area just there. Yeah, fantastic arrow flume. It's a classic, this is. It is. There's Scorpion there as well, the Schwarzkopf. Sure we'll get a ride on that. Best tip for you if you come into this park is do a loop round. Don't just say like go from Montu over to Tigris and so if you want to be doing a loop round at this park. Obviously in America they have to have staff sat around the water rise. Should we see if we can get a low? Hello. Nothing. There we go. <laughs> Woo! Launches! <laughs> hey! It's literally like a launch coaster this thing. <laughs> You're right in the back. Oh, Charlotte's loving it. It's not very often you see Charlotte enjoying a water ride, but this is good. I like this. Stanley. There's Skyride there as well. Whoa! Big wave. Yeah, Skyride's also shut. They're the two rides down at the moment, Falcons and Skyride. Yeah, Skyride's been shut since the pandemic, but it is supposed to be coming back at some point in the future. Yeah, it's nice, Skyride. If you like your transportation rides, there's a great railroad here. I mean, we'll try and get on it later, but obviously time is limited. Seven and a half hours in a big park like this. You can always come back for another day though. I can say that shuttle bus is free. I like the boats on this as well, the big barrels. But yeah, straight in with the rides. Got Tigris just over there coming up next. Premier ride, Skyrocket. 
Uh, the good thing is if you do the part this way round like we have, you'll make it round to Chick-fil-A, which is round the corner here as well. It's a nice place to eat. Do you like Chick-fil-A? Here we go. Stanley! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> oh, just a light sprinkle in the front. And Charlotte in the back. Wow. She's dripping. Oh, I told you you get wetter in the back on this one. Oh, look at her. It's a nice hot day though. <laughs> Good old Stanley. Hey, here she is after that ride on Stanley. I'm not impressed. Well, what's up with you? I'm so oh, it's a nice hot day though, Charlotte. You're in Florida. Indeed. And we're building up ready for Popeye and Blue Toes Bills Wrap Barges. Oh, not that. Coming up in our Universal Day 2 vlog. We keep building up for it. Not She's forward. not been on it yet. It's the ultimate water ride. Charlotte's going to love it. But yeah, up next, we've got Tigris just here. Charlotte didn't really enjoy this last time, but she's coming on to give it another go. Premier Ride Skyrocket. And yeah, what's really cool with this is the colour scheme, in my opinion. Looks amazing. Five minute wait for Tigris as well. Oh, I'll tell you what, big queue for the front. But yeah, nobody wants to go in the middle, so I think we'll just take this one, shall we? Yeah, why not? Let's go and ride on Tigris. Hey, theme park will ride on YouTube. Hey, let's go. Here we go. Woo! I'll tell you what, it's got some kick to it, this thing. First we launched forwards, now backwards, and here we go. Woo! Was down. Oh. <laughs> oh. And that there, folks, is why you secure your loose articles. I think that was someone's phone. Went out in front, you probably saw it. Somebody lost something. All right, footage there from Tigris. It's short, it's intense, and I really quite liked it. It was good. I think it's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> you said that last time you oh, went on. I hate it so much. Is it because it's too intense for it's you? It's really intense. It's the comfort collars are just so uncomfortable. Yeah, the one thing that I don't like about these are the train designs. Uh, Premier could have done a better job, it's in my so opinion. It's so hard to get in and out of the trains as well. I understand why the comfort collars have got to be there. It's to stop you them. jolting forwards into the other seats. However, they're very just uncomfortable. They could have made it so much better. They're just so I think so. I'd rather have like a B&M standing over the shoulder too, yeah. restraint than those flimsying about everywhere. Uh, but still, it's a really action-packed ride in my opinion. Like it. It's intense. I really do like it. And you get some great views and it looks epic from off-ride. Perfect for a park that really hasn't got much space because uh, they're quite compact. I say that, Bush Gardens is massive. So, is, yeah. Um, yeah, these work better. A park like Blackpool Pleasure Beach would benefit from something like this in my opinion because they're really compact. But still, I enjoyed my ride. Oh, I didn't enjoy mine. <laughs> Let's get something to eat. Well, here we go then. Time for some lunch now here at Bush Gardens. We're off to Chick fil A just over here. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, looking forward to some food. And yeah, we do like a bit of Chick fil A. The nuggets that you can get from here are absolutely divine. Well, it's not quite this expensive out of a theme park, but obviously, we are here at Bush Gardens. And yeah, for the waffle fries and eight Chick fil A nuggets, and yeah, just a cup of water, which obviously is free. This came to $16. Oh, oh no. It's expensive. <laughs> what, what, what's going on down here? Oh, hello. Who's this? You're not having any, not for $16. I know that. And obviously, with the exchange rate at the moment, who's that there as well? <laughs> oh, this, is it a duck? That? It's weird, that thing is, isn't it? But yeah, here we go. These are really nice. But yeah, it's obviously quite expensive with us being inside a park. But then we'll uh, keep on riding this afternoon. Crossing over the bridge just here, then, to one of the most iconic and most photogenic B&M coasters. And in fact, any roller coaster in the world. Like, look at this. Absolutely beautiful, this ride. It is Kumba. I like how the Cobra roll makes its way around this pathway. And yeah, there's a really nice, iconic viewpoint around this corner with the interlocking corkscrews. So let's look at the track for this B&M Beauty. You have got the Congo River Rapids down here, which is a great rapids. It's a soaker. And the boats are massive on this as well. Oh, here we go. One's coming round. You'll see it just there. Uh, yeah, huge boats on this with low size. Great rapids, however, we're gonna hold off for now, which Charlotte's quite happy about, <laughs> because just in case the storm comes in, because I've been here once in a storm, and this actually stayed open. So we might get this in later on, possibly, but look at the size of the boats. 
We're going to focus on the coasters for now. Not needed really, is it? Well, I don't know, Charlotte. I think it might be. Look at this. There it goes, look. The Congo River Rapids. It's nice and slow. Better than the other Congo River Rapids that yeah, we all know. Right. Back at Alton Towers. But yeah, it is walk-on. Like I said, we're just really being tactical with these part days this trip. Just in case the weather does turn, because it might do in a few hours' time. So we're going to head on Cumber, just around this corner. The will be an MBC. We got a dispatch waiting about five minutes for Kumba. So yeah, earlier this year there were some rumours that this ride was going to be getting removed from the park, which caused quite a stir on social media. But then the park hit back and said it's not going anywhere, which I'm pleased about because you can't beat these classic B&Ms. They don't build them like they used to. Don't get me wrong, B&Ms still do some great rides. However, they're not as forceful as they used to be. And this design is amazing. Look at the loop that goes around the lift hill. And that's pretty epic. We've got a few clouds gathering over in the distance, but we're doing well so far. On this nice quiet weekday, September 2022. Fantastic coaster this is, it's intense, here we go. Woo, what a first drop. Fantastic. Don't get me wrong, it's not the smoothest of coasters, but it's so good that layout. Absolutely amazing. Action packed from start to finish. BM classic, it's Kumba. Oh, I tell you what, these misters, I really appreciate it with this Florida sun. We just had a ride on Cumber, seven inversions. Brilliant ride that is, I absolutely love oh, it. I'm not a fan, it's way too intense for me. Yeah, Charlotte doesn't like the big intense rides, no, do you? No, I don't, but it's not rough at all. Like, it's a great ride, but it's just so intense. Yeah, a lot of people say it's really rough, and it's not, but granted, it's not. it's not really smooth either. You've got to think, it's the same age as me, that ride. Oh. Uh, yeah, only 1993. 29 years old, but uh, there you go. Uh, still riding great in my opinion, that though. I absolutely love it. Hope it stays here at the park. I really do, because I love it. The layout of that, the interlocking court screws are iconic. You saw some off-ride footage of them. And yeah, that large loop as well. And I really like the little tunnel near the end of the ride. I think that's great on there. So intense. Uh, you having a good day at Bush? Really good day. Oh, honestly, this park is amazing. It never lets me down, Bush. I always enjoy it here. So many big rides, so much to see. And uh, yeah, we're gonna head into Pantopia now and uh, have a ride on Scorpion, the classic Schwarzkopf that there is just round here. Like we say, uh, Falcon's Fury is still closed at the moment, um, but we'll have a little look round here. Hopefully it'll be back open next time, because it is a great ride. I love it. Oh, fantastic view from the top as well. Anybody that used to play Roller Coaster Tycoon, or maybe still does like myself, or recognise the sound of that lift hill. What a classic. Can I have a ride on Scorpion? Literally walk straight down the queue, air gates open, and we're on Scorpion! I love this Pantovia area, it's so colourful. Trips here. Oh, 
hopefully it'll be back open again in the near future. Here we go. Beautiful ride that is. It's Scorpion. Look at the trains. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic coaster, Scorpion. Really enjoyed that. 1980 that coaster opened, so it's 42 years old, which is crazy, really. Anyway, we're coming over here now onto Sand Serpent. Nice Mac Rise Wild Mouse that there is just here as well. So yeah, let's go and have a ride on here whilst we're in Pantopia. Make the most of it. It's so quiet today, literally walk on. There's nobody up here. Here we go, walk straight under Sand Serpent. Can't believe it, I pulled the uh, with lap bar down just here because I thought it was individual ones. And yeah, it's one all the way across. Yeah, sorry, Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte's in the back. Oh no, rookie error just there. Great view of Cumber from up here. Yeah, it is a shame about Falcons, but it will be back at some point in the future. Oh, here we go. Whoa! To be honest, Charlotte, I've made it a more comfortable ride for you. Yeah. <laughs> Fast this is. It doesn't trim much on these corners. It's not trimmed once yet. Oh. I love it when you come into bush and just walk on rides, though. It is epic. Nice quiet park. Woo! Yeah, you can just see this flat ride here. This hasn't operated for years, so I reckon they'll remove that pirate ship. You just go all the way over. Airtime. We're going to trim. Oh! We practically came to a stop there. There we go. Oh. Woo! Hey! Oh! Good rides these are. Whoa! There's some funny noises coming from the back. Way! Oh! Oh! Oh my God! We have stopped. There you go. Some of them it doesn't trim much. Some it trims too much. Look at this now. We're practically crawling around. I think we're going to roll back. Oh! There you go. Sand serpent. Fantastic. Oh! Well, we practically came to a stop on there. The trimming wasn't too bad in some areas. In other bits, it wasn't great at all, was it? <laughs> Just thought I'd point out, you have got a few rides for the kids at this park, and there is a little Sesame Street area as well. Are you hot, Charlotte? <laughs> Don't worry, I think you're going to get rained on within the next hour, probably. We will see what happens. But yeah, fingers crossed, next time we're down here, this blue fence will be gone. Can we see anything over here? Is it all intact? There we go. Oh yeah, it looks ready to go. There's all the seats. The thing is, this is the only one of these built to this standard um, because, yeah, Intamin have kind of improved the design now with Icaros located at Gronaland in Stockholm, Sweden. And we went on that only a couple of months ago over summer and it's a brilliant drop tower. You all right there? What, what are you doing? You liked Icaros, didn't you? Oh, it was really good. You liked Falcon's Fury though, to be fair. I, did. I, was, I was really scared at first, but I loved it. I was really proud of you when you went oh, on it. I loved it. I'm sad that I'm not getting on it, really. Yeah, so am I. Again, coming back to Bush and not riding it, but it is what it is. You know, hopefully it'll be open soon. I know they've had some issues with it over the years, but yeah, fingers crossed. Safety is always paramount. All these buildings look great. I do feel like SeaWorld Parks and Resorts, you know, maintain their parks so well. I love this. Everything always looks so nice and clean and fresh, which is fantastic. And operations have been pretty good today as well. Cumber was on one train, but it was pretty quiet down there. And yeah, we're going to keep on riding as long as we can do. Fingers crossed. Obviously, that's the thing when you do come down on the bus. If it ends up a storm comes in, there is literally no indoor rides at this park. I think Congo normally stays open and maybe the Dodgems and a couple of the smaller bits. But other than that, there's no full indoor rides at this park. To be honest, the really benefit from an indoor coaster here, something a bit like the new coaster that's coming to Busch Gardens Williamsburg next year, um, which looks amazing. I'd love to see something like that come here. Uh, but there is a new ride under construction, actually, and we're going to see it just here on the left-hand side. It's a new flat coming to the park, and yeah, this will be opening next year. 
Now, as much as the elephants just here are lovely, it's the ride there just behind it I'm a little bit more interested in. And that's an SS Screaming Swing that's going to be opening here. The foundations have been done for a couple of years now. And so, yeah, as you can see, the ride itself has gone vertical. If you're not familiar with one of those, basically like Rush at Thorpe Park in the UK, there's quite a few at parks around the world now. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to this opening up here. Be a great location for it there as well over at the back. And, yeah, the colour scheme's nice. It's purple green and black it kind of reminds me a little bit of the iron Guazi color scheme but so uh, yeah they're working on it actively and yeah this will be opening next year so yeah look forward to that it'd be a nice addition to this park another flat ride big thrill ride for the park well, you may have seen it in some of the shots already, but yeah, this looks amazing here. Some of the theming for Bush Gardens Howlow Scream, their Halloween event. We decided not to actually do it this time. However, now I'm seeing all this, kind of wish we were doing it, to be honest, because it looks absolutely fantastic. Something that they have got, though, is a new Howlow Scream event that only started last year down at SeaWorld, and we are going to be doing that. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that's like, because this event's always been fantastic here. Um, but yeah, you know, they've got one now down at SeaWorld, so we decided to do that one instead here you've got the hearse just here and yeah some awesome theming hashtag nowhere to hide yeah look at this well yeah they've always done a good job with this but i thought we'll try the run at sea world this time charlotte here just went darting off to the side what are you having there we go dipping dots how much are these going to set you back then charlotte how much are they? nine dollars oh my god 9.99 for dipping dots oh Here's a look then at Cheetah Hunt, which always looks the part. Does them ride amazing in my opinion. You got some lovely little animals just down here as well. Oh, they're cute. And here's Charlotte just over here with the goods. There we go. Oh, I love dipping dots so much. I hope so, for about £10. Yeah, around there, there you go. Expensive. Dipping dots just there. Make the most of those. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's about what? 2p per little ball just there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you get some great views around here with Cheetah Hunt. And there's a look at the Sky Ride, which is coming back at some point in the future. There we go, I really look forward to that coming back actually. It was a great ride. Yeah, I do like how Cheetah Hunt interacts with all these different areas. But yeah, I think nowadays they're into men just build much better coasters, don't they? Back in the day, this was very iconic, but now you've got to think with what uh, Intamin have done with new double launch coasters, they've done so much better, haven't they? I don't think I've ever been this close to a lion before. There we go. Oh wow, it's quite scary actually being this close. Just sunbathing, chilling out just there. Before the storm comes in. Imagine if we just jumped up now and scared us. <laughs> it's a beautiful park here at Bush Gardens, and yeah, you can see the zebras and giraffes there. Yeah, yeah, we saw them. And then the big ones like Look at them all together. Beautiful. You can just see off to the left there as well, there's actually a tour taking place. Yeah, that's an upcharge experience that you can do. And you can see the giraffes just over there. What an amazing view of all the wonderful animals. We've got the birds just down here as well. I don't know what they are in the distance at the back, but they're massive. Like big goats they are, Charlotte. Love them. There we go. You're enjoying them uh, dipping dots there. So cold. <laughs> yeah, they are freezing. There you go. They are a staple of an American theme park day. But yeah, down this end of the park, we've got three more big coasters to get on. Cobra's Curse, Montu and Cheetah Hunt. I think we'll start off with Montu. The big BNM invert, but yeah, this pathway is worth coming down because you get to see all the animals and you get some great views of the big cobra itself just up there. Whereabouts? Oh, there he is, running across the path. <laughs> I love the little lizards. But yeah, I'll tell you what, fantastic family coaster, Cobra's Curse, spinning coaster just here. It's very cool. Here it comes, actually. Yeah, this pathway is great because it interacts with the ride. And you can probably tell by the track type, this was built by Mack Rides of Germany. And this is a fantastic little coaster. Yeah, we'll come and have a go on here shortly. After our ride on Montu. Now that is the true definition of a walk-on ride. When you walk into a very empty station, the air gates are already open, the train is sat there, and literally you step on, walk on. And that's on a one train service, but Mon 2. Yeah, obviously this ride did have a repaint. It looks very yellow now. My favorite color. Yeah, you like it, don't you, Charlotte? You really rated this invert last time, I think. I think you enjoyed it. 
Yeah, it's fantastic. We're having a great day so far down here at Bush. What a brilliant park. If you come into the Florida area, you need to come and have a ride on this. A lot of people just stay in Orlando, but honestly, it's worth the trip down here. And the best thing is, it doesn't even cost you anything to get that buzz. So come down here, experience it. You ride some of the best coasters anywhere here. Brilliant collection of roller coasters. It's always quiet this time of year, midweek. Here we go. Right near the back, it's Montu. Feel the force. Woo! It never disappoints that brilliant ride monster is. You can't beat walking on to one of the best BM inverted roller coasters anywhere in the world. Monte opened in 1996. It's got seven inversions and it's a beautiful ride. It's one of my favourites. There's some great elements on there and I love the new colour scheme. Yeah, you really like I it. I really like it. I like it too. I'd rather than paint things up than them look rotten and not yeah, painted. Right you know, like that's what we're used to with a lot of rides back home. I like how they've painted it, it up. It looks really nice. Yeah, definitely. And you've got to think with the Floridian sun, it is going to fade anyway. Yeah, it will. I think be. it already looks a little bit faded compared to the last time I was here. You know, and it's going to in the heat and humidity over here and just with the sun shining on it, it's going to affect the paintwork. But no, I really like it. I think the track looks really fresh as well. You can't beat that B&M Oh, no, you can't. Listen to that in the background. Honestly, it's so iconic. And it cheers again. Oh, just listen to that. Amazing. Um, but anyway, we're having a great day. We've got loads done so far. Quite low. We're off on to another family coaster now, which is Cobra's Curse just here. Nice Mac ride. And there's loads of empty seats going round. I know there is. Then we're going to be walking on here. Let's go. So all of this theming was already here when they built Montu, however, they continued on with the Egyptian theme when they built Cobra's Curse here, and yeah, had this section of track come spanning over the entrance. It's like it was always built for it, isn't it, really? Beautiful attraction, and yeah, it's got the vertical lift hill there, as you can see, which is amazing. And yeah, that one goes up, another one comes down empty. For capacity, it's a Mack ride after all, they love the capacity. And it's got a great queue line, this as well. So let's go and have a ride. The Cobra's Curse is real. Oh, I love this queue line. So much to see. It's like you're entering this big construction zone, this archaeological site. And the air conditioning's nice too. That's really cool in here, all the projections. And now, the green has returned to this barren land, and the Snake King shall reign once more. Oh, there he is, the Snake King. Oh. What a cute line. The darkness awakens. straight on, even though it's had 10 minutes at the entrance. This vertical lift system, very cool. And up we go. What a view. Yeah, we move to the side, that one comes down. God, it looks stunning, Montu, doesn't it? There's the steam train. Woo! Oh. Woo! I like how that giraffe was looking at us just. 
There we go, spin round. The Serengeti Express. The Cobra Circus is upon you. Oh no, here we go. Woo! Oh! Nice horseshoe element there. Enjoy that? Yeah. Good fun family coaster. Fun. There you go. Well, Cobra's Curse is the perfect family spinning coaster in my opinion. And there's a nice bit of variety because you start off, of course, going forwards, then you go backwards, and then you've got the spinning section at the end. It's very good, but it's quite intense in some places, I think. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a good kind of build-up ride. You know, start yeah. off on something small, then before you go on the big boys, go on something like that. Definitely. But yeah, opened here in 2016. And yeah, I think it's a really nice addition with the theming. And the queue line as well is phenomenal on there. Right, I tell you what, we've nearly done all the big coasters yeah, now. Yeah, we've done well. One more left, you can see the entrance there behind us. Five minute wait for Cheetah Hunts. Yeah, we're going to give this a go. Intamin launch coaster. And yeah, it's not our favourite this one. It's okay. Um, but yeah, looking forward to getting on it still because, you know, it's still a great ride. It's just compared to some of the other hardware they've got at this park, it's weaker in our I opinion. I agree. Uh, but Intamin back in the day, this was probably revolutionary, but they've come a long way since with uh, more modern launch coasters. So yeah, let's go and have a ride on here. It's only five minutes. We're here then on the back row now of Cheetah Hunts. No mess about, we launch straight into it. It's only a slow one to start off. Woo! There we go. Whee! time you're on there and you just don't get it. <laughs> Great view at the top. I hope they put the flags back here at some point. Woo! Here we go. Yeah! Woo! Oh! Woo! Looking so fresh after the repaint. What inversion. <laughs> My favourite section of the ride, tipping in and out of the rocks down here. Woo! Hey! Ah, oh, I love that. Hope they put the water back. Woo! Here we go. Triple launch. Woo! I ain't glossy. Hey! It kind of hooks the terrain. Oh. There you go, that cheetah hunt. Cheetah Hunt is a good coaster, however, it's missing something to make it spectacular. I completely agree. You know, it's got three launches, it's got that inversion, it's got a lot going for it. And don't get me wrong, it's not a bad ride at all, it just misses something. I enjoyed it a lot more this time round, though. Yeah, maybe because we're on the back row as well. Maybe so. A bit more kick to it. I just wish it didn't have that inversion, it adds nothing to the ride, in no, my opinion. Doesn't. I'd rather it not have that inversion, and maybe just have another airtime hill there. I think that's the thing, it lacks airtime. I completely agree. Well, it is a nice terrain hugging coaster, it's mostly loads of the ground other than the big tall section uh, but yeah it's a great ride still it's just nothing phenomenal in my opinion I agree. well we have whizzed around this park it's not even three o'clock yet 
We've done really well. We've got all the major coasters in and made the most of it. We even got a ride on the log flume. We did, but I'm feeling the heat today. Oh, I know, yeah, it so is hot. Humid. And we're just going from ride to ride, which obviously isn't the it's best. It, it's nice sometimes kind of filling things in the we middle. We just wanted and... to make sure that we got stuff in just in case the storm does come. Yeah, exactly, because there is a few smaller rides. Granted, it's mostly big coasters here, uh, but normally we like to take it easy a bit throughout. Okay. But we wanted to just go for it today, just in case the weather came in. Um, it's looking a bit cloudy, but still not too bad yet. Not too bad. Very humid though now. I am so, so hot, but uh, we'll see what happens this afternoon as we continue on here at Bush Gardens. But what a great day we're having. In Florida alone, we have over a million, probably close to a million and a half alligators. But Florida is not the state with the most alligators. Do you know another state that might have more alligators in Florida? Louisiana. Louisiana, yep, you're right down by the entrance now here at Sultan Suites and yeah just gone for some nice cakes just here Lovely. what you got there Charlotte brownie oh chocolate brownie and I've gone for I had one of these last time it was delicious a chocolate orange muffin just here which is absolutely divine yeah for two cakes it was $11 so yeah there you go getting used to the expensive prices with the exchange rate but it is what it is we're on holiday we're having a great time yeah a little refresh and have some food now Oh, look at this lovely little squirrel just over here. Are you the French fry? Oh, he's nice. He's just chilling out there. Oh, with his cheeky little smile. Guys, you see him spun around then. Look at that bushy tail. Oh, the squirrels are really tame here in Florida. We've seen loads. You can get very close to them. Well, we've done a full loop around the park now. And yeah, it's a massive park. So I definitely recommend either going left or right. However, now that Iron Guaz is here, I'd say probably start here and then go round to the left. Uh, but I tell you what, what a day we're having. Oh, really good day. Are you ready to get back on your number I one? Oh, Iron Guaz, 10 minute wait for one of the best roller coasters anywhere in the world. It's even got a golden ticket award just here. Come on, go and hold the golden ticket award. There you go. Best new roller coaster. Hey, <laughs> I like how they got this out. Obviously, Europa Park in Germany, that always gets voted in the Golden Ticket Awards as best park in the world. And there's Charlotte, there you go, VIP. <laughs> yeah, let's get up another ride on Iron Gwazi. I'm gonna take you on with another POV. Well, we're on row three. We was gonna do the front, but honestly, the queue is massive. Probably about 10 trains, something like that. So yeah, we're on row number three and we're off. And I'm Hey, you ready, Charlotte? Yeah. Oh, we go. Hey, hey, hey. the this time. I'm on this side. What a view. I love how you see all the different elements. Builds up the anticipation for this epic ride. There's Adventure Island over there. I've never done that before. That's the water park. Right next door to Bush Gardens. Owned by the same company. Here we go. Oh boy. Let's see how this rides. Row three. Well, let's go. Yeah, a bit of hang time instead of being whipped over first. Woo! Ejector. Yeah. Oh, so much ejector air time oh, there. Oh, that was amazing. It's just as good down here the front as it is oh near the back. God, it takes your breath away. It really does. You come into the brake run on that. And you're just like, oh, 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 so good. Brilliant. Absolutely phenomenal coaster that is. Well, we just had another awesome ride on Iron Guazi. How was that, Charlotte? Oh, stunning. Look Absolutely amazing. Relentless air time on there. Well, oh, look at that. I tell you what, I'm not a fan of this in the middle. Looks oh, a bit yeah. unrealistic, that, isn't it? There you go. <laughs> it is nice though in the frame. Yeah, I do like some of the merchandise Ooh. at this park. These frames are cool. You've got the old Guazi logo there as well. And this shirt up here is very nice. Look at that. I don't think they had that one before. Yeah, that's cool with the train just on there. However, look at the restraints. Has he got over the shoulder BM style oh. restraints? I think it has. Very weird. That's quite nice as well. 
We've got the flag just over there. Yeah, what an absolutely amazing coaster. Relentless from start to finish. To be honest, that was probably the best ride I've had on it, and it was a row three. So I can't believe it. It's the coaster that just keeps on giving. Oh, and I tell you what, I've been saying that Steel Vengeance is still number one, and Zardra is probably better than that. I don't know, Charlotte. Oh. Without its riding, I don't know. Like, I need to get back on Steel Vengeance. Unless I sat them all next to each other. It's hard to tell, isn't I it, when you've done so many? Steel Vengeance. It will come, Charlotte. It will come. It was supposed to happen 2020, but it didn't with the pandemic. But it will happen. We will get there. Fantastic. But uh, anyway, we're off to go and see an ice show, aren't we now? Yeah, we thought, why not? Let's go and see the show. I love ice skating. Yeah, we got everything done. For us, it isn't just about the coasters. We no, like the full experience. Um, we've got a lot done, so we're going to head down this way and watch the ice show now. So welcome to the Moroccan Palace Theatre. We've come to see Turn It Up just here. And yeah, usually they allow you to film the entertainment here. So yeah, I'll put some footage in over the next few minutes. <laughs> show and it was fantastic watching it down there at the front. I actually really enjoyed it this time around. There was some really good unique stuff in there like the headbanger. I love that. Oh that's one of our favourite really moves. Good. Yeah we do love a good show especially an ice show and yeah it is strange with the setup instead of it kind of being an ice rink in the middle like and seating round. One. Yeah it's all on the stage at the it's front. Very, very good. Much better sitting down at the front. Nice Isn't variety nice. of music, good lighting, good tech. It was an all round good show. I enjoyed it. Our last 90 minutes of the day then now and who are we going to see? The kangaroos. We are indeed. Let's have a little walk through here. Well, if you love kangaroos, get yourself here to Bush Gardens Tampa, full of kangaroos. We're all chilling out, listening to the music just here as well. <laughs> love it, that's not a kangaroo. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, oh, he's just sat down again now, but he was stood up just for us. Lovely kangaroos. <laughs> I like him over the back there having a stretch. Oh, we like him just over there. He's lovely. Little white kangaroo. Oh, beautiful. Hello. Hello. Really quiet now here at Bush Gardens. I mean, it's been pretty quiet all day, but yeah, look at this. And here we're just going to have a little ride on Grover just over here. This is our 10th and final coaster to go on today. Obviously, done this a few times now. Always like to show you in the vlogs what there is. Obviously, there's some big, beastly rides here. But yeah, you've also got some family attractions here in this little Sesame Street area as well. Yeah, it's walk on, so we'll just quickly take you on here for a POV. And then we're going on the Congo River Rapids. Charlotte's sat in front of me here on Air Grover. Here we go, we're down at the back of the train. <laughs> there he is on the front. Yeah, there's a few little flat rides around here as well for the kids. Great views of Ainguazi. And here we go. Whoa! Woo! Oh, what a beast. Not this, I mean I'm Gwazi. <laughs> yeah, so if you are coming down here with kids, there is a few things for you to do. Obviously not loads, however, yeah, there's a few bits for the little ones at this park. Well, this trip so far, we've been gradually building up with the water rise, and we've still got Infinity Falls at SeaWorld, and of course, Popeye and Bluto's bilge wrap barges to come. But yeah, we're going on the Congo River Rapids just here now. Oh. You're hot though, aren't you, Charlotte? Oh, here we go. This will cool you down. Hopefully, we get some nice water effects on here. That's the what we want. Hey, what? You just said you're boiling. I know, but I don't want to be soaked on the bus. Oh, that's a very good point. Let's go and ride. Here we go then on the Congo River Rapids, and we've got a 12-person boat all to ourselves. I am not impressed. Uh, now there's a big water effect on here. I've not told Charlotte actually until this point. There's a big waterfall. Um, because we've sat opposites like this, or nearly opposites, one of us is going to get it and one of us isn't. Well, it best not be me. <laughs> Honestly, I do love a good water ride, and that's the great thing about Florida. It's always nice and humid, especially at this time of year, for some water ride action. Here we go. What a great day. One of our last rides we're going to get now. Here at Bush, I don't think we're going to have time for the Serengeti train, unfortunately, this time. That's the thing, now you've got Iron Guazi here. There's so much to fit in. Charlotte's got a poncho on there, she's got her little legs out oh, as well. No, What's up with you? It is. It's so 
choppy. Oh, choppy season. I can't believe we got a 12 seater all to ourselves. Sean's oh. getting this. There we go. Yeah. Oh, nothing happens. There we go. To be honest, the fact the boat's not very heavy, we might be all right. Oh, God, I was speaking too soon. Oh, no, here we go. It's coming in. Oh, oh. the thing is, on this, the sides are really low as well. That's why I put my swim shorts on today for the Congo River Rapids. Well, I should have put my bikini on. You should have. Maybe you should for uh, Popeye. I'm going backwards. I can't see anything here. Oh, oh my God. There we go. That's me soaked. Good job I got my trunks on. The music's really tense around here as well. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. The sides are so low, it's gonna come in again. Oh, oh this is payback, is it? <laughs> is this payback, yeah? Well, you know what? I hope you get this massive waterfall coming over here in a minute because we're nearly at the end of the ride. That's nearly it. There's not much to it, but this is a big effect coming up. There we go. We've got choppy seas down here, and then we've got the big effects. If I get this, Oh, I will not be happy. <laughs> One of us is going to get it, unless it does go over there. Oh, this is the mystery of these water rides. Who's going to get it? You're going to see the effect in a minute. What, this big water? Yeah, this is it. Oh, Here we go. Here's the effect. Come on, keep the boat this way, please. Come on. Oh, God. <laughs> is it this one or is it around the corner? Oh, my God. Here it is. It's gonna be me, no, it's Charlotte. Here we go, she's in. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> ah. Are you alright there? What? What's that? Ah. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. There you go. Ah. Oh, God, you might get a little spray here as well. What's just, that? Just, that yeah, it just pushes the boat over, you oh, see. God. Pushes the boat over. Just to make sure, I think he might get you. Just to make, oh, God, Charlotte's gonna get it now. Here we go. <laughs> Congo River Rapids. Whee! Well, we just come off Congo River Rapids. You got off lightly. <laughs> I had a poncho on. Oh my god, that was horrible. To be honest, your back still looks a bit wet. Swivel around a bit. Here we go. Oh god, yeah, it's come right through that there. Oh, you got the I big went effect. Right into a massive waterfall. So you was laughing at me, getting them small little you bits. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's not a bad ride. It is quite short. However, you do get some good effects on there. Anyway, it's our last hour of the day. Probably just going to get a couple of re-rides in now. I do normally like to get the train. However, like I say, don't think we're going to get a chance for that. That's the thing. They keep adding stuff at this park. And it is really a two-day park. What they really need to do here is add some themed accommodation, in my opinion. Something like Animal Kingdom Lodge would be beautiful. Yeah, definitely. You know, And then make it so that you can get the bus back the next day. I think that would be great. But yeah, we're just going to get a couple of re-rides in now. And then we will wrap up the vlog. Oh, there's the train down there. Shame there's not a station here, else we could have gone on. Oh, we made it onto the train. The good news is they're back using the Congo station again now. Yeah, because when I've been before, this hasn't been in use. So yeah, it's good to see it back in action again. So literally walked over the bridge by Kumba and we got on the train. Fantastic. I do like the Serengeti, so I'll have a lap round here now to end the day. Bye. <laughs> here we go. This is great. And also, you get some coaster facts when you're going round normally, which is cool. Also, in the area we have our Congo River Rapids, so we'll be passing around. We won't talk about the Congo River Rapids. I have not the Congo River. If you don't see me, you're just in denial. Get it, Congo River. Kira, that's the singer. She could be trying to touch the height of Here we go. All the above the vertical drop long enough long enough for you to wonder why you got on here in the first place. And then it will proceed to drop eight degrees first, heavy 90 degrees, but 75 miles an hour. I love this train, it's like the roller coaster database. But actually behind that is Scorpion is truly one of a kind. Here we go then, so we're making our way now into the Serengeti Plains. Brand new ride, we've started since 2023. There you go, advertising the new ride there. Wonder if we'll see any animals, but yeah, the train also goes around the other side just there as well, if you do a full loop round. To your left hand side, you'll be able to see a giant open field with a bunch of rocks. I like to point these rocks out because some of our conductors take them for granted. 
Oh. And they're about to start up throwing their bodies and concerts. Is that bridge just over there, or as they say here in America? Zebras. We also have some of our rhinos on the left hand side as well for the zebras. Travel and herds not crash. Ones are not made of bone, they're made of keratin. Very shy creatures with front of the old car. Just as much as gold. We have come to a south of the station once you do, and all person belonging with you. Exit to the station side only, and exit will be found to the front and to the back of the train. If you're traveling with any small children, please make sure you take them by the hands so they don't get lost in the crowd. And here's a look at the beautiful logo that just took us round. Like I say, normally I'd do a full loop round, however, we're not got time. We're gonna get back on the bus. But there you go, Let's look at the loco. And once again, the one and only bad boy mower is just here, the official lawn mower of Bush Gardens Tampa Bay. Just thought I'd show you that before we wrap up the vlog. There you go. But we're gonna make our way now back down to the park entrance, have a little look in the gift shop, and we'll wrap up today's vlog in the beautiful sunshine. Another day of no rain, like fantastic, really good day. And for this day down here at Bush, you certainly need it to be dry, or at least not stormy. And we're just down here now in the Emporium, which is the main gift shop. Spirit Jersey just here with Bush Gardens on. It's quite nice, isn't it? It's 62 99 just there. And here you've got a whole range with this colour scheme. It's pretty nice. Nice Bush Gardens t-shirt there for $32.99. You've got the white version of it just at the top there as well. Obviously, you've got all your merch for Hallow Scream. Next time, we'll definitely do it. However, because we decided to do Hallow Scream at SeaWorld this time, we thought we wouldn't do this. Um, but yeah, now we've seen all the scare zones set up. I wish we kind of were this trip now, but uh, we'll save it for next time. Maybe next year. If we come back to Florida at Halloween, of course. This is a nice selection of merchandise. It kind of looks a bit retro, which I like, with the mug just there. That's really cool. And then how much is this t-shirt here, Charlotte? So this is 25.99. I quite like that, actually. Yeah, it's nice. Bush Gardens, Tampa, just over there. And you've got a lovely bag selection down here as well, which is nice. With that logo on, more of the retro vibe going on with that. Yeah, it's quite nice. 19.99 for the bag. Yeah, and that's nice. This is a shirt with that design as well. That they've got here like quite neon. Yeah, yeah neon futuristic style well we've had a wonderful day down here at bush gardens tampa bay it's been fantastic hasn't it i've really enjoyed today charlotte's got a new top coat today i know i absolutely love dying quasi so much oh it's a spectacular ride that first drop the airtime on Everything there, the inversions, oh, an it. absolutely spectacular ride. I'm so pleased you loved it. Absolutely loved it. Along with that, we've done 10 coasters here today, including a couple of re-rides, which has been great. We've done the water rides as we've well. We've done a lot more than I thought we would today. Yeah, we thought we were going to get hit by a storm about two, three o'clock. It was lucky. It just never came, did it? it? didn't. That's the thing with the weather down here in Tampa. It's always worth checking because it's actually different to that in Orlando. We're about 70 miles away and we're closer to the coast here, so it normally blows it away it a bit. Does indeed. Uh, but fantastic. Also great getting back on the classic Shikra, Montu, Cobra's Curse, oh. everything at this park, Kumba. Oh. There's some fantastic rides it's here. It's one of my favourite parks in the world because you've got the coasters, the big rides and the theming and I'm really pleased to finally redo the entrance yeah, down here. Yeah, it looked really nice that did. Yeah, we've got a new ride coming in with the S&S Screaming Swing that'll be a nice addition. Bit of variety of, away from the coasters. I'd love to see more indoor attractions though. I would too to be honest. Um, Bush Gardens Williamsburg are putting in that new uh, coaster which looks amazing, dark coaster for next year. Something like that here would be perfect for their next coaster it edition because really uh, that's what they're missing now an indoor attraction or a dark ride even but uh, what an absolutely amazing day i love this park i love their on-ride filming policies operations have been pretty good today yeah, I think so too um, for a quiet day we've packed in so much we didn't get here till 10 30 it's 10 to 6 now we've packed in so much today i wish to build an on-site resort here so we oh, could stay over it'd be so nice there is a lot of accommodation nearby but an on-site resort would really make this park for me i agree but honestly what a brilliant day Thank you so much for joining us here on Theme Park Worldwide for another vlog from our trip. Check out the playlist if you haven't already seen it. And we've got lots coming up, including a day two vlog at Universal. Yippee! 
another Disney vlog, and along with that as well, we're going to be checking out another Halloween event. Howlow Scream, not here at Bush, but down at SeaWorld. But thanks so much for joining us. Epic day, number one for Charlotte. Hi, Brilliant day. That leaves us with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you back in Orlando.